to establish a company and to do it well, the first thing you need to do is to make a good product. What's up, guys? Some Killer Tofu here, um, trying to attempt this again to get this to record. My computer's just been acting a little funky today, and I don't know if it's gonna work, so here we go. Okay, cool. So it looks like I can finally record, so we're gonna finally press on with uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, chapter two, I think we're at, or maybe even almost chapter three. I don't know when that starts, but picking back up where we left off. Um, in the last episode, we skipped ahead because of the demo episode um, to just doing the Scorpion Guard, or Guard Scorpion, or whatever, it's called Fight, and uh, then moving on to Chapter 2, where we explored um, Sector 8 and got into a big ol' heap of trouble with some guards. Um, we jumped onto the train, as you do, like in the original, and uh, met back up with the rest of Avalanche, so we'll be seeing where it goes from here. And I'll skip ahead to then because it's going to take a while to get into the game. Honestly, I wasn't that prepared because I haven't been able to record today. So it's been throwing me off. Not expecting when I can actually go ahead. So yeah. Anyway, as I said, we'll skip ahead. You know, when you're recording and editing and rendering and uploading and re-editing and re-rendering and re-uploading and re-rendering and re-uploading because of all of the errors that had happened over the past few days, it really slows down the progress of things. So I'm not quite as far, obviously, as most people probably are in the game at this point. Um, but yeah, we will hopefully be able to get a move on a bit with, um, with all this. So let's go with this save, this manual save. That means I did it, so that's probably what I want to be at. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've got a crowd to hide in. Head for the front of the train to hold there. I, I get why they don't do anything about it, but it is weird being able to hear Barrett's voice like crystal clear after the door shuts behind him or whatever. Just called in sick. Looks like I won't be getting I'm just gonna tonight. bump into everybody, I guess, trying to get through here. The fire was really big. <laughs> she got pissed. Did you see that face? <laughs> get the fuck out of here! That was rough. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world! That's right! <laughs> that is the Shinra Creed! Oh god. <laughs> Them's fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? <laughs> we should go. Right. <laughs> So, but yeah, there's like a, there's like a 
definite, just push me out the way, why don't you, Jesse? <laughs> um, there's definitely like a delay for what I hear versus what they say, which proves what I was saying in the prep of video I'm gonna release later about something just being way off. Um, but I don't know, I'm hoping it goes away, but at the same time, it is nice to have some sort of vindication to this. Vindication? He is totally like a combination of Big Smoke and Robert Downey Jr.'s character from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <coughs> Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. <coughs> It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Boo! Not cool! Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. Don't let them bleed the planet dry avalanche why did my office have to burn down it's okay poor weirdo somehow as long as the trains are running it'll be work as usual tomorrow hmm. how about it baby girl how about what Huh? They all like react to you running up. But there's not really a good like if I Yeah, there's not like a good um a good walk button. This game could definitely use that, I feel like. There's a run button, but to walk, you just kind of have to walk, like, barely touch the, um, barely touch the analog stick. Emergency train services have now concluded. This was the final train of the day. We apologize for the inconvenience, but please have a safe journey home. What if when Toad tells us the princess is in another castle, he's not referring to a physical place, but rather in our hearts? Is it possible that the Master Sword isn't actually any better, but is rather just a trophy signifying that we, the player, are now the master? 
In another parallel universe, are there football games named after players with coaches for the cover photos? If Assassin's Creed is programmed a certain way, would it really require any faith to take that leap? What is this kid doing? Maybe the real Kingdom Hearts was the friends we made along the way. It's one little question. Um, excuse me? Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, wow. sir! What an asshole. Guy was just trying to be kind. In an uncertain time. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Fiends? You don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Who belong now? <laughs> That's that one guy. Um. I mean, if you know, you know. <laughs> like, he's, he's so common. Even the, the like, news anchor looks like the original and <laughs> just obviously updated. It's crazy. Arlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Hmm. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Man, I wanted to explore. I mean, I know I'm going to get to, but still. Mako plays Bula. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Well, Marlene's immediately way cuter than she was back in the old game. In the old game, she was like walking around all like weird and shaking up drinks and I don't know. I mean, she might do that later. I don't know. But it just looked totally goofy before. There's so many like references to pizza, which makes sense because I mean, that's kind of you can just see how much detail <laughs> my thought was totally different just then but you can just see how much detail and thought was put into everything now i mean it doesn't look great there i'll be honest but i mean it's just a throwaway pinball machine not even important really like this one so it kind of makes sense that this one would look better but volcano bombs and golden t gold time pinball well bombs are real can i play darts like already okay no because i know you can i think eventually it's like there's so many games now where it's like oh play darts like that's just become a thing i guess because of yakuza to be honest because that's really the first game i can think well technically shinmu was the first one i can think of that had it but yakuza is like the first one that had a good <laughs> good darts game um and now persona 5 royal has one and i I think there's supposed to be a mini game on here. I mean, I'm sure everybody's already seen that there probably is, but I haven't seen it yet, so. Can I, like, awkwardly talk to Marlene when she doesn't know me? <laughs> uh. Hey! What uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? <laughs> Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, 
All right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. <laughs> He's still waiting on it. Uh, He's straight to the point, but... isn't he? About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Why does it get that have that music? Oh, because you can like actually play music? What? Interact. Tifa's theme is obtained. Use the jukebox to play your favorite tunes. You can add more songs to the jukebox by collecting music discs, which can be found in the field where their presence is marked with a music icon. That's interesting. I'm hoping that means that there's more. It's kind of quiet. Chocobo show. <laughs> well, hopefully that's nothing like a donkey show. <laughs> Can I talk to Barrett at least? Let that be a lesson to you. Wow, he's pissed. <laughs> Shouldn't have uh, tried talking to Marlene. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Danger's part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. <laughs> I guess I can explore more later. That's fine. I sure should I can check it out, you know? So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh. Right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room. 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. <laughs> 